Hey guys, thanks for clicking on my channel and watching this video. My channel is called Escape with Vicky, which I'm sure you can see down below. And that's basically because this is my escapism from my day to day. I love talking about stuff that I enjoy from makeup, skincare, fashion, whatever it might be. It's my little escapism, YouTube and that little world, that little bubble that tries to teach us what to wear, what to do to our faces and how to look. I take little bits of all of it and turn it into what actually works for me. So yeah, I'm gonna talk about what I am doing now to my skincare regime. Once I've washed it of an evening, which tends to be a good hour or two actually before I'm going to bed, so I can start putting on the products um, and they start working. I do get up quite early, so the sooner I can put them on the evening before, the more good it's gonna to do to my face. So I've got kind of like a lazy girl version and it's not lazy girl because it's a fantastic product which means you actually care about your skin and you're doing good things to your skin with one product. It just means that perhaps you've had a late night. You've managed to take your makeup off but the skincare you cannot be bothered with. So this is just one product or you know you've been out. You don't want to do any of it but you've got to, you know, all the variations of what we do before we go to bed. So I've got sort of the long drawn out process and all the layering and the one quick fix. So keep watching. Now I'm in a dilemma. Do I show you the long version or the quick fix? Because we don't want you to disappear, you know, once you've seen the quick fix. Um, and on that point, if you want to click the subscribe button, which down below in the description bar, there'll be a, like an arrow that drops down basically to show you all the information about these products and a lot more bits and pieces and stuff about me and my social media, all that malarkey. So let's do the quick fix, okay? Because I know you're really intrigued as to what this can be. Basically, washed my face at night. This product is pretty darn amazing. I know we're quite bright. I have tried to tame down some of the sunshine, but unfortunately, this is what we're working with. This is called the Alpha H Liquid Gold. I'll bring it in as close as I can. There you go. So you can sort of see what the packaging and the labeling and all that looks like. Okay, this is a 50 ml product. This has glycolic acid in it as well. And basically this is a little holy grail product that does everything to your skin that you can imagine that you want to do to it when you go to sleep and just leave it doing all that good stuff. So you've got glycolic acid in it, which helps to brighten and exfoliate the skin. Um, I think there's licorice root in as well, which brightens. So it kind of exfoliates, it acts as a serum because it's putting hydration into your skin along with a moisturizer, it's doing the same. It helps with fine lines, it helps with pigmentation, it brightens the skin so it lifts it from any dullness. Any fatigued, dull complexions it's gonna help with pigmentation, have I said that? The list goes on forever and ever. It's like a combination of all the brilliant layers of products you can put on your face, but this is just in one quick swipe. And basically, that's what it is. So it does say you don't have to follow on with any other moisturizers. That's why it's like a one-stop shop. You can, but I like to just literally put it on and leave it doing its thing all night with that disruption of another product. Um, and I can't say any more than that. They recommend to use it every other night because I love so much skincare and I have products that I enjoy using. I probably use it less than that because I'm doing other things as well and incorporating other things into my regime. So I would say I would probably use it two to three times a week. Like I say, if you haven't got the time or don't really care about all the other products, you can do it every night and it's, you know, it's doing good things to your face. So basically, it's just a little pop-up lid. So you would literally pop. I would put a good six to seven sort of eight drops on the pad so basically not all of it's filled by any means but just that sort of section in the middle is enough to do my face and you literally just swipe it all over your face and get in all the nooks and crannies and down your neck and that's it that's all you need you go to bed so bye guys <laughs> no stay please stay please because i'm just going to talk you through it's only sort of five or six no, four or five layers, all right? Um, but it's not much, but I've got one or two sort of different moisturizers, serums, different things that your skin might need for different things, if you see what I mean. So I'm gonna talk you through that. So, clean face again. I would go in next with a toner and the products I am loving are from Pixie. And as you can see, I like a bit of Pixie. Um, 
this is my fave this is a glyconic toner and i if you've watched my spring sort of skincare routine my previous video which i will link down below as well you'll see that i've been using this for a good couple of years and i use it every morning probably over the last couple of months i've been trying to use the retinol one which is the retinol toner this one here it's kind of like a lilac-y color i am doing quite well i'm kind of down to about here but i've just put it aside for the last week or so as the weather's started to hot up a bit and i don't know if that's any connection i'm just doing it because my skin does get a little bit sensitive to sun and the layers we're putting on our face whilst we've got sun blazing on you so there's more sweat there's possibly more dirt in the air clinging clinging to your skin so i do suffer a little bit more with those little sort of red little blotchy blemishes that you get that kind of go down within 24 hours and i wasn't sure if this wasn't aggravating and giving me that same kind of effect i tried it i like it i want to like it more but I don't want the little red blotches and retinol unfortunately can be quite sensitive to some skins even in this delicate um, degree of retinol I don't know if it says how much percentage is actually in this product no it doesn't but it's very mild because it does say you can use it in the morning and at night but I do only tend to use it at night but like I say I've stepped back from that toner and I would go in with my pixie I'm showing you two bottles because this one's almost out and this is my backup. So basically the same process on a cotton pad, splodge a few drops on and swish it all over your face and down your neck. So that would be the toner. Next stage for me would be a serum. And what I'm really enjoying at the moment is this little product from L'Oreal. And it's from their Age Perfect range, their golden age in fact. I wasn't 100% sure if this was targeted at slightly older ladies, or people. Um, sort of maybe 60 plus I don't know but I'm 50 now so I don't care I wanted to give it a try I was looking for an essence on the high street and an essence basically is a bit like a serum really but it gives you hydration it gives you that little glow to your skin which most serums do as well but you know when you like your products you want to try out everything don't you and I saw this was the only essence in fact I saw um in Boots and Superdrug and all those regular high street shops this is a glow reactivating essence so it's one or two drops duh, 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 duh. yeah on the cotton pad again but all your hands so that's what i do actually i drop good three or yeah a good three big splodges rub it together into my palms and then i just pat it and press it into my face and it smells it smells okay it does smell a little bit like a don't know it's all right but i wouldn't say chemical that was the wrong word kind of like a intense toner kind of scent it's all right though it's kind of already disappeared i'm not smelling it in such a such a level anymore but it's really nice and it just sort of leaves your face really glowing and hydrating i know you don't particularly need the glow before you're going to bed but it's obviously putting that moisture back into your skin so then following that i can't skip the serum because i absolutely love serums at the moment i am really really enjoying this one from neutrogena as you will probably know i've mentioned it many a time this is my second bottle i've purchased and i also use it in my morning routine but it's got these little capsules there can you see them little white capsules in the blue sort of gel and they're just really nice it's supercharging and giving more hydration there's a lot i think there's hydro, hydro um hyaluronic acid in this one yeah hyaluronic acid so it delivers up to 24 hours of hydration that is really cool product and for me to actually repurchase a serum is quite good because i'm a little bit fussy i'll work my way through a bottle but then i maybe just like to try something else because by then they've brought out another product somewhere on the market and i want to give it a go but i really like that one now I'm showing you this one because this is going to take me through into the summer. It's from Yven and it's their intense hydrating serum. This one I absolutely love when the temperature warms up because I feel like it's such a natural and simple product that when you've perhaps been out in the sun all day and it's a really hot day, just to smooth this onto your skin, you just know you're just giving your skin a drink of water before you go to bed. 
This does the same, but sometimes when I've been out in the sun a lot more and I'm just feeling a little bit <sighs> parched, then I will use that one. And I thought I'd mention it because obviously we're going now into the summer months, so that might be something that you might be interested in trying out. So enjoying that. If you're gonna hear anything, is a car outside reversing and doing all sorts, but I've got windows open because it's really hot. So that's serum. Then I would go on with my eye cream. Um, rightly or wrongly, who knows if eye creams actually work. Again, I've touched on this in a previous video, but I use them anyway. And for my nighttime eye cream, I like to use this one from Skin Laundry. Again, can you see that? Skin Laundry. And it's their Renewing Eye Cream. This is really, really nice. And I picked up this one, a little bargain in TK Maxx. Um, I'll have to pay full price because I haven't ever seen it down there since. It's a little bit pricier, it's around the 20 quid mark, but it is really nice. The first time I used it, I actually visibly saw in the morning, my eye area just looked fresher. Maybe I just had a better night's sleep, I don't know. But the fine lines, everything was just a bit less tired in the eye area on using that one. So I like to keep that for night times, particularly, you know, there's no right or wrong. I could use it all the time, but I, because I have choices, that's my nighttime eye cream. Then, oh, let's just go on to this little product that I've recently picked up in TK Maxx and absolutely love it. I have used it on my face. I will just say this is by nature from New Zealand. If you can see, I'm just trying to tilt it. It's a replenishing night cream with coconut oil. It's got vitamin E, rosehip, and all of that good stuff. And it's got hyaluronic acid and argan oil. Hence why I picked it up, guys, wasn't it? So, I tried it once or twice on my face and it was really nice, actually. It's really hydrating. Again, did I have a couple of little red blotches? I may have following it. So I just kind of stepped back from putting it on my face and I am loving using it on my neck and my chest area. That's the cream. It actually smells freaking gorgeous. But, and I'm wondering if that's what maybe I saw something on my face that I thought, ooh, do I need a few more days of just letting this settle in to my skin on my face? Oh, it's just, it is so, it is replenishing. That's such a fantastic phrase for it. But it's very heavily coconutty scented. It smells, I've got hand creams in coconut and things because I love coconut. But it actually does smell a bit like a hand cream. And I, I would not put hand cream on my face. Do you know what I mean? I have obviously tried this and did enjoy it. But I think because it is so heavily scented, I'm just going to take a step back and use it on my neck and my chest. But I wanted to mention it because it is a blinking good night cream. And if you're fine with scents and it's not a problem for you, go for it because I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, but also, we've got to look after our neck and our chest area. And yes, I slather on some body moisturizer all up around here in the mornings, but I wanted to take a little bit more care in the evening so that it's absorbing and sinking in whilst you're sleeping. So I thought that was a really nice one to start using on my neck down. Okay, so this is where it gets a little bit, what do I use? What do I use? I've got so much stuff. This is the moisturizing stage, the last step of my nighttime routine. And I've kind of got two or three options there going on. Let's show you, let's show you this one first. So if there's no right or wrong really, it's more of just a feeling when I'm putting my products on before going to bed, what do I fancy trying tonight? And it's all stuff that's tried and tested and I'm really, really enjoying. But you've got kind of what with the, ooh, on the occasions that I use the Alpha H, and I've got retinol I want to use, and sometimes I want to put a bit of added vitamin E, you know, it's all going on, and we've only got seven nights a week. So, a couple of times a week, I will mix all of these things up and do something else throughout the whole week, okay? So i just show you what I'm loving. And this is from Nivea, this is their Q10 Plus C Anti-Wrinkle and Energy Sleep Cream. Really, really enjoy this, with it being vitamin C. I love vitamin C, my skin loves vitamin C. I use a vitamin C, a vitamin C serum in my morning routine and I really, really enjoy it because it lightens and brightens the face. And I've mentioned before, I've had pigmentation on my cheeks and along with the glycolic acid and vitamin C, I'm sure they have definitely helped with that. 
so I definitely like to pop that in there a couple of times a week in my nighttime routine. Then I'll do the next one, I'll leave the best till last, if I can say that, should I say that? But this is a gorgeous product, this is from Indeed, I will bring it in nice and close for you to see and it's their facial oil and it's their squalane squalene can you see that there in the little purple writing there and it's a facial oil and i can layer this up the step before my moisturizer if i want to i don't have to mix it in with my moisturizer i can just have it as a different step sometimes this is the last step and i don't moisturize afterwards and this is just Again, a beautiful product. You'll notice that all of the products that I use are hydrating. I want them to do good things to my fine lines. I want them to help with discoloration. All of those things that our face starts to age with, basically. If you're still 21, why are you even watching? No, I'm joking, I'm joking. If you're still 21, you don't even notice any of these things. If you're 41, you've noticing them, okay? The fine lines are there, the discoloration is probably there, any blemish marks aren't going away quite as quick, and all of these things just help with the aging of the skin. The dullness that we get, that look of, oh, I always look tired. Whatever I do, I always look tired. All of these products help with that. And then that little layer of makeup, obviously if we're talking daytime, just everything works together. If you've got good skin, you'll have a good makeup day generally, all right? So you'll notice that I'm basically putting lots of moisture back into my face and I want anything to help with the fine lines and look rested in the morning. So this one is an option. My final option, and one that I was sitting on the fence with a little bit because I've been trying it for, this is the fourth month now I would say, and it's a retinol night cream. This one particularly is from Super Facialist. I absolutely love it. It's the anti-aging night cream retinol plus and it is basically a night cream what else can i say apart from the fact it's retinol and as we get older retinol is retinol is our god okay if i can say that i don't know anyway it's the skin guru shall we say of skin it's the anti-aging it's a slap in the face to getting old all right this is our friend as we get old er and I was really sitting on the fence with it because I just wasn't getting on with it. It was bringing me out in those little blotchy spots, like I said, again, I've mentioned this before. So I took a step back from using it and I've just used regular moisturizers at the vitamin C. I've got options, okay? But I just noticed that every time I did use it, these little fine lines around the eye area just seemed smoothed out. Yes, they were here, yes, they were here, but. I don't know, the eye bone just looked smoother and clearer. Um, so I thought, I just want to tackle this and want it to work on my face. So what I started doing, and I'm just gonna show you this one because I do have just some random normal moisturizers from the Super Facialist again. This one's from Your Good Skin. And this is just their nighttime, it's their Pro Vitamin Overnight Cream. And I've used quite a lot of this one and I will definitely repurchase it because these, this Your Good Skin range is amazing. It's down in Boots, it's their own brand, okay? Um, but this is just really nice. If your skin is acting up through the day and you don't wanna to put too much to aggravate it on your skin at night, just a layer of this and everything just calms down. Just, there's nothing irritating at all in this. So what I've started to do is mix with the retinol. So it's, I'm almost like, I'm getting the benefits from the retinol, but at, at an even lower grade, okay? So basically I'll splodge a couple of drops of that on, a couple of blobs of that on, I mean. Get a little blob of the retinol, rub it in my fingers, and then blend everything in together and smooth it all into my skin. And the next morning, I've been fine. My face there hasn't been those little red blotches. Nothing, I'm a bit worried as the summer comes because I get that anyway, so whether I'll have to take a step back from the retinol during the summer, um, I don't know. 
One thing I will say with retinol, using it at night time, you must put an SPF on in the morning, okay? Don't use that in the morning either, because it just makes your skin more sensitive to sunlight, okay? So always use an SPF. So I will just see how all of this works for me as we get well into the summer. Obviously, like I said, I've been trying this um, for the last four months, so that's only through the winter. But I've been enjoying it like that for the last couple of weeks, just mixed with another moisturizer. But if I find it's all just a bit too much, like I say, as the weather warms up, I'll just back off and leave it off for two or three days and then just go in. Like I say, I've got lots of other products that I can use in its place through the week. So I hope you enjoyed that little rundown of products that I've been absolutely loving. Have a fantastic day, guys. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button before you disappear. I think it's here. It might be there. And like I say, thank you so much. Bye, guys.